I walk out the door and I hear certain spots, I got eye contact already. That don't mean that the hoe gonna be hoeing or this and that, but the hoe, the hoe giving me action. Wait, you know? all right, wait, wait, wait. So <laughs> you telling me that when a nigga ain't got no hoe, right? But the pimping still in him. You saying yep. you saying he should knock a good worthy hoe within thirty days? Yeah, if you really pimping, if you really pimping, bro, if it's really in you, bro, and the spirit is in you, and you motherfucking true to this game, it shouldn't be no issue knocking a bitch down in thirty days, man. So, I right, so, so what do you have to say to the P who he just got knocked for his bitch? You know what I mean? Or he or he out here holeless, but he still campaigning and it been two to three months he ain't come off of nothing official yet and he got a job how like how would you look at that p i'm gonna say that like this here just because when you hold it and dole it don't mean that you stop being a pimp you know what i'm saying you still a pimp you know what i'm saying you just ain't got the ing at the end of it right now you just ain't pimping you know what yeah. i'm saying now a motherfucking p man you know, who been holding the dollars for three months and you decide to get a nine to five job instead of owning a business or, you know, building some business credit and all that extra shit, you know, to straighten, you know, straighten, straighten your pimping out, man. You better leave this alone, bro. Seriously. This ain't for you. You know, this ain't for you, man. You, know, you really bought this shit here, man. You should be asking for a bitch 24 7, seven days out the week. And pimping, dog, look, man, one thing about pimping, bro, pimping don't stop, bro, when you eight deep, when you ten deep, bro. Pimping still going on 24-7, seven, seven days out the week. You should be asking for a bitch 24-7, seven, seven days out the goddamn week, man. You know what I'm saying? And every damn thing. It ain't about who the deepest either, though, bro. But what I'm saying, you should always be asking for a bitch, man. You know what I'm saying? Pimp till you motherfucking get up. You pimp till you motherfucking hit that bed, man. You pimp all the way to that damn casket, man. You know? Wait, that wait, wait, you wait. Know, hey, yo, that if, why, you know, but G Glove, but G Glove was saying, oh, you know, I can't, I hate when people saying they, 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 they only doing it for the money, man. They only, they don't say they, 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 they not only doing it for the money. He was like, oh, but why you in the game for them if you ain't doing it for the money? But see, Pepe, that's why your career did. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And why it's over for your ass and shit, dog. Wait, 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 wait. You said that's why it's over for you. Now, who are you referring to? The G Glove. G Glove. It's oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> How is over for G Glove? When he said that shit, though, you were like, oh, man. You know what I'm saying? He said he can't stand with other people saying that they not in the game just for the money. And he was like, oh, but what you in it for then if it ain't about the money then? You know what I'm saying? I said, no, it's about the money, bro. But in the thing about it, bro, this shit, dog, is all about truth, bro. This shit is about honor, principles. This shit is about within you. You know what I'm saying, dog? When you love this shit, you do this shit with ease, man. These are gentlemen, bro. And all that shit, dog, and every damn thing. That's why your career ain't last that damn long as shit, bro. Because you were just in it for the money, man, instead of doing it from the heart. But, but, wait, but, shit, but, 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 I, how do you know that G Gov's career is over when it comes to the pimping? Because then, because because G Glove, man, he's scared about these new laws out here now, man. He's oh, scared about how okay. they got shit set up. Okay, and G, I G see. Glove, he can't he can't do what Simple did go to Canada. Why it's, it's a little a little a little a little easier to pimp out there from the law set up and all that. Go to Frank because he could bit the felon and shit and all that stuff there, bro. That's why I say some of these peas, bro. They have gig jigs, nigga. You know what I'm saying and. Short time season and shit. That nigga, though, man, he just had a jig, man. And when that nigga had to really pimp, pimp, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said back then, hoes couldn't surface like that, bro. Hoes couldn't go on the internet and do all this extra shit. It wasn't this and that. Then when the internet started taking off and then they had to start putting up all these different sites and shit, hoes started having auctions now and every damn thing. So now, though. Wait, 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 wait. Did, did you say uh, hoes started having auctions? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, hoes oh, start having auctions because <laughs> they can go on the damn internet now. And they, they ain't even got to do shit now. They can have a square ass dude not just wanting to take their ass across Costa Rica before they even know the bitch name. Mm, dig that. All right, you know? all right. Now, I, I, I got a question now. You true to the game, right? Now, how do you feel about some peas who say, you know what? I got a fly ass, sexy chop chop. 
And I ain't putting on a blade. I'm only keeping her in a hotel room and she going to be doing digital work. Only digital. How you feel about that? Well, the thing about it, bro, it don't matter, dog, where you set this bitch at. Anywhere can be a blade. You know what I'm saying? Um, my thing is this. If you pimping, no matter if she an escort, no matter if she on the computer and this and that, man, if you really pimping, bro, you're going to put this bitch on a blade, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, the key thing is this. I can see if you just trying to do a legal and all that shit, yeah, but she a real hoe, that hoe gonna want to run them blades for you, man, and all that shit, though, because it ain't nothing like that whole money dog when that bitch on that blade, bro. But, you know, nine out of ten, though, man, niggas who really say that shit, you know what I'm saying, they kind of scared a little bit, bro, you know what I'm saying? It's not really no pimping and horn going on with that shit a little bit, dog. It's kind of like that's their little boo thing or close thing or you know what I'm saying? I care about the bitch type shit. You're going to always care about the bitch, but that type of care is a little different. They be ready to shoot your ass about that hoe. So, wait, wait, you know? wait. So, you, 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 you telling me that you feel comfortable sitting your girl, your bitch down on the blade, let her get in random cars? I mean, she won't be getting in no random cars, but that's why you got the hotel set up for it, you know, and every damn thing. But, uh... The key thing is this, bro. You can't be scared when you say you this pimping, bro, because sooner or later, bro, you're going to go somewhere or no matter where you at, club or, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be other peas around, bro. And it's going to be other peas that's going to be trying to knock this bitch, bro. You know what I'm saying? Your pimping going to get tested regardless of the fact, no matter what you do and all this shit here, bro. So my thing is this. You can't be scared, you know, somebody knocking this hole. Uh, you know, you can't be scared thinking that something's gonna happen to this bitch. Hell, this bitch could be at the script club and something can happen to her ass and shit. You know what I'm saying? She could be doing escort shit and going and doing escort service at a man's house and something can happen to her ass and shit, you know? And but, all that stuff. But, stuff. But, so, but, but wouldn't you, can't you say, look at it like that. But wouldn't you say the blade is more riskier? It's more riskier now, but if you know what you're doing, and if that bitch listen. That's the key thing, because a lot of these bitches, dog, they don't listen. You know what I'm saying? Study the game first and listen. As long as she listen and she listen to proper instructions and shit, it should be no goddamn problem. You know what I'm saying? But if it do resolve into a problem, that bitch got instructions to know what to do because it's coming from your mouthpiece and everything. So she'll be all right and she'll be fine. But... I feel it'll be better to put her doing, have her doing in calls or out calls because you can demand more money if it's in an in call or out call, right? Is is, is more money on in on on the internet than it is on a blade? Wouldn't you say? It all depends what type of hoe you got. You know what I'm saying? And she, and she, if that's what she good at doing, see, you got some hoes, man. They can do it all. You got some hoes, you know, they don't know what the blade like because they never had a P that took them on the damn blade. You know, they never got no blade experience, so they only good on the internet. You know what I'm saying? And then you got some hoes out there that's on the blade, but they can't work the internet because they so used to being on the blade, you mm, know, and all mm. that shit. They, dog, you know? So basically, they, they, they condition. Yeah. You know, right, yo, but I, you can, yeah, yeah, you can find you an all around hoe. Yeah, hell, that's golden. But you. And they see the thing about it, bro. It ain't a one-way street, though, boom. You know what I'm saying, bro? You as a P, you grinding, too. You know what I'm saying? Because you find clientele as well, too. So the more that you sharpen your pimping, bro, and the more you get around people and faces and shit, bro, the more easier it is for this hoe to check your damn door. Because now you can be like, okay, you got Billy the butler right here. You know, be good. He just, you know, he know the, you know, he willing to, you know, yeah, I got a little hope for you, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's not a one-way street, man. You know, as your part, too, you got to do your part, man, right? as a as a P and everything. And the more you sharpen up this whole art skill, the, the more you sharpen up this bitch dressing and every damn thing, bro, and the more game she get, the whole, that whole going to become dangerous. What about, instead of the blade, what about putting her in like a casino environment so this way you can watch her as she works and mingles 
with potential clients. What about that? Well, my thing is this, yo. You can put it in the casino, but my thing is this, yo. If you're a real P and she really got that game and all that, you don't need to be corner parking your hoe, man. You know what I'm saying? That, that's kind of, you know, you, you ain't really got too much faith in your game. You know what I'm saying? All that shit, though, man. You know, because... To that, like that, man, that's kind of like you kind of working as well, too, as, as the bitch working and shit, man. So, you know, one thing is this, man. You got some peas, man, that'll sit a bitch down on the blade, man, and this and that, bro, and could be in a whole nother damn state, man. Yeah, it's called automatic. You know? That's called automatic. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And that bitch could be on a whole nother blade in a whole nother state, and you could be in a whole nother state running some, running some shit with some pussies over there on that side over there doing what you doing, you know? The rest of them damn holes and shit, bro. So, like I said, you have to have faith in your game that if I'm in Chicago, that bitch can go to Florida, whoop the whoop whoop, and come back with it. You know what I'm saying? Of course, she going to stay in touch and, you know, you know, he going to call and see what's going on and all that shit, though, mm -hmm. man, and everything, though, bro. Make sure you know she still got those instructions on the phone okay. and shit. I, I got, I got a that. question, P. Yeah. So, P, so check this out. Oh. Put, 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 your, put your shoes... Put yourself in a position where you a pee out here. You 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 had to fire your bitch because she out of pocket and you ain't dealing with the drama. So you out here campaigning. You gotta replace her. You ain't you ain't about to get on nine to five. You ain't about to square up. You staying true to this pimping. Where are you campaigning at? And how are you campaigning? Now you gotta remember, day after day, you getting rejected, rejected, rejected. You 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 popping it at square bitches, you popping it at whole bitches, you popping at any woman who you feel is marketable. What would it be right. like for you? And remember, you got 30 days. So how are you going hard in 30 days? Break that down. Hey, easy. Invest into yourself, man. You know what I'm saying, bro? See, the way, see, the thing about it with a P, man, you know what I'm saying? Why it's so easy sometimes for us to catch it, though, bro? But let's just say if I'm having that issue right there. Hey, look here, man. I'm finna put on my best gear. I'm finna put on my best gators. I'm finna slick this hell to a point. A bitch ain't gonna have no choice but to look at it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I can step inside one of them damn shit, sit at a bar by my damn self. Grab me a little rum or wine and shit, man, and everything. Man, trust me. A whole looking. You know what I'm saying? With her damn man, you know? Bitch gonna choose up and shit, bro. Let me tell you the one thing about you being that damn sharp, and she may not know nothing about you, but you being that damn sharp, man, it speaks a whole lot about your character, man. Sometimes you ain't even gotta say shit alone. Just the shit that's around you will make this bitch just start talking to you automatically. Mm -hmm. Okay, but but now now you looking sharp, right? So where okay. are you campaigning, at and how are you approaching these bitches? Well, the thing about it, man, you just let it flow, man, like water, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, you touch down at, at man, like I say, what my eyes looking, man. You know, and who looking like they knockable? Go ahead, because at least you know what I'm saying. Because one thing about it, when that bitch looking. And she look like a boy, it's gonna be easy for you to wrap your game and shit like that, bro. Because you know the bitch don't peek you out now, you know? And all that. And she wants you to say something to her. Sometimes a bitch will say something to you. Sometimes a bitch will do little, little, little signs and shit, you know what I'm saying? She may come back, walk out, come back again. Or she may, you know what I'm saying? She may slow down her walk, you know, and all that shit, though. And you know what I'm saying? All that stuff, does. She'll do little signs like that, bro. You know that. Yeah, I want you to come talk to me. You know, I'm trying to see what you all about. Mm. So you can be anywhere, man, as long as you stepping out. Hell, man, you could be at a fucking bus station, man. Shit, as long as you stepping out with it, though, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? You could be at a mall, bro, anywhere, man, you know? Okay, now, I, 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 I got a question now. How does a P deal with rejection? Because you got to remember, when he getting rejected... You know, when he campaigning, he's going to get a lot of no's. How does he deal with the rejection and the discouragement that comes with the rejection? Well, the thing about it is this, here. Yeah. That's why you let your bitches choose you. You don't choose the bitch. You know, choose the bitch that like you. You don't go choosing bitches that you like. You know what I'm saying? 
and these bitches that like you are reasonable and enough to you know to talk to and have a conversation with yeah you know what i'm saying now do i step out the door and i got all type of ugly shit trying to get at me yeah but let me tell you something out of all them nine ugly ass chicks i got two on that looking goddamn knockable per day you know what i'm saying and all that shit now so now it's just your job and your duty now to go ahead and pursue that you can't be scared you know what i'm saying and all that shit now so just say what you mean and mean what you say no matter how what you say it ain't gotta be in order just mean what you say and all that shit now now don't get it twisted too now because if this bitch got a little bit of game or she you know been around or she had another pee by that conversation she may ask you a little something now and she may ask you some questions you better say the right damn thing you know what I'm saying? Because you can trick your way up out of that real fast. Trick? Wait, wait, wait. You say you can trick your way up out of that if you don't say the right thing. What do you mean by that? Yeah, what I mean by that is you may, let's just say you walk in, right, and the bitch peeping you. Now, you know your eyes down. I got this bitch. And you may have her for that moment. But let's just say this bitch got a little bit of game and you know she's been around certain shit. You know, like she already know what type of nigga you is, man, and all this stuff, yeah. She may ask you certain questions. And if those questions don't come to those type of requirements or she feel like they ain't the right answers, you know what I'm saying? You can trick your way up out of 500K on that bitch, you know? <laughs> you know, and all that shit does, she can just, you know, cut that conversation quick, man. Easy. But, 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 Pete, aren't you taking the wrong approach by... What you said, tricking your way out of it because you the prize. If if that bitch is meant to be your bitch, you can't trick your way out of anything. You you can say the wrong thing, but the bitch is meant for you so much, the bitch still still rocking with you despite you saying the wrong thing. Yeah, but sometimes, man, you got some veteran um, chicks out there, bro. You know, you can say the wrong thing, man, or you can do the wrong thing. You know what I'm saying, bro? And that may just have to be this is herself from you. So, but now, 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 Pete, if you a veteran, Pete, do you really want a veteran hoe? That 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 it you depends. that that you didn't train, that you didn't mold. Do you really well, want that? Is, well, no. If she hoeing, she hoeing. It don't matter. She can be a a a, a, a trick. Okay. Uh, uh, she can be a a a, a buster. She can be a, a square. And you know what I'm saying? She could probably been already been in the game already. A hoe is a hoe. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, you still gonna have to motherfucking deprogram them and shit. Yeah, yeah and no, but see, that. but see, P, isn't it harder to deprogram than it is to like mold the new bitch? Well, the thing about it now, really, man, because if this bitch already been in the game, you ain't gotta do too much. All you gotta do is motherfucking just deprogram that shit a little bit. And then, you know, if she been with a real P and that shit's already okay, then this bitch already with the program. It's more difficult to program a fresh turnout bitch than a bitch that's already in the game because you got to start from scratch with this hoe from that turnout hoe and all that, that square hoe and all that shit. They'll go, all these hoes were squares first before they became professional hoes, you know what I'm saying? And all that shit will come with some real hoeing. So you're going to be doing way more work from a fresh turnout than a hoe that's already been in the game because then they go, you ain't got to do too much for that and then sit that bitch on the blade. Or, you know, have that whatever, put the bitch on the pole and this and that. She already know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Now, when you starting off from a fresh turn out hole, you got to start off from scratch and shit, man, and all that shit. You got to give this bitch rules and, you know what I'm saying, dog? Some instructions and shit and all that. You got to show the ins and outs, or if you got a bottom bitch, you know, you got your bitch got to train her. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want no pre or mature hoe out there doing any damn thing. You're going to get your ass ate up with that shit, you know? Because this bitch ain't properly trained. She don't know what to do. And she gets into certain situations, she gonna get fucked up out there. And every damn thing, a motherfucking dude put a gun to her head. She ain't got no damn gang to talk her way up out of that shit. And every damn thing and all that shit, though. So it's gonna be more work with that. Now, you got some hoes, you know, they born natural with it. She just ain't know that she had the horn in her. So she may pick up on it fast. Then you may have a hoe, you know, she picking up on it, but she ain't moving fast as that first hoe. And then you may have that third hoe, the bitch just a little slow, but she gonna get it. But it's just gonna take her a little time, you know. Got you. Earlier, you mentioned uh, fuck, uh, mess with the woman who like you, not the ones you like, right? But when you out here campaigning, aren't you supposed to approach women that you like? 
Well, the thing about it is this. When you approach a woman that you like and shit, nine out of ten, she may not like you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the, if you see a bad bitch, you know what I'm saying? She's Spanish, Puerto Rican, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And the bitch already smiling, giggling, eye contacting you and shit. Don't you think it's more easier to approach that? Then trying to approach some shit and convince that bitch to like you and shit. And oh, that. oh, okay, that's okay. That's okay. So, so, so you saying go for the ones that's giving you choosing signals, basically? Correct. That's basically what it sounds like. Correct. What's going on with it? Don't make it harder. Don't don't make it harder on you than what it is. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, because like mm-hmm. I say, man, out of nine ugly bitches, man, you got two or one who's gonna be looking knockable, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong, with you. Every bitch you gonna have in your circle ain't gonna be that that they're gonna have that face sex appeal. But this hoe may be the one that's gonna be checking it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And all that shit though. No, you know, and then you may have one that, you know, she got it all. Pretty face looks and all that shape size and all that shit though, no, you know? And every okay. damn thing. But that's just how that go, man. But that just make it more easier for you, man. It's just like even let's just get on some square shit right quick. For all y'all like here, you know, you brothers out here and shit. The problem is why y'all can't never keep a damn, a bitch so damn long because you be trying to choose the bitch that you like instead of finding a bitch that likes you and shit. You never know, damn thing. See, one thing, when a bitch like you, she's going to do everything in her power to please you. She's going to try to impress right you. Yep. You know what yep. I'm saying, bro? And everything because she's trying to win you. So it's going to be easier for you. You just don't fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Be that man, lead, this and that and all that. You can do a little fuck up and shit, just don't trick yourself out of a situation because, like I say, you don't know this bitch could probably be the one. This bitch probably not going to be the one, but she could be the one and shit, you know? So the thing about it, yeah, you got a lot of game, but still have faith in your game still, you know what I'm saying? And every damn thing. And you're going to be all right, man. All right, I I, I got a tough one for you. Let's say you on the blade, right? You driving around. Listen to me. Huh? Ah, uh, you driving around, right? You roll up on a chick, you knock her, she choose you, right? How okay. soon do you bring that bitch to your household? Because I know some peas, they bring the they they bring her back home right away, and the next thing you know, the bitch fucked up the household, and the bitch know where the pee live. She sending cops to the peas house. She fight with the <laughs> hoes and all that. So how soon do you bring a hoe? Back to your house after you knock her. Let me break this down here, man. <laughs> That's not a hard question, Pete. Okay. Um, one thing is this. You got some peas, you know, that, you know, they still getting it together, so they got to stay with a whole stand with them still. When you just pimping, ain't no whole stand with you. You stand by your damn self. That whole in another damn house somewhere. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to do what you do. That bitch got to earn her way into inside that big ass hive, man. She got to earn her way to that big hive, you know? And all that shit, though. Nah, the thing is this. You're going to have some hoes, man. They're going to want to spend some time with the pimping. It happens. You know what I'm saying? It may be Brenda day to day. You know what I'm saying? This and that. Yeah, you can come to the hive. You can spend a night, bitch. You can't hold. You can't stay here. You know what I'm saying? And all that shit, though. So sometimes it'll be smart enough. You know, to throw these hoes in different apartments and this and that, though she can pay her rent and this and that. Now, if you a sharp motherfucker, who real sharp and shit, and you get to one of them duplex complex apartments, buildings and shit, you buy one of those out. You buy one of those out. Excuse me, my bad. You buy one of those out, or you buy you one of them eight damn fucking door apartments and shit. There you go. You know what I'm saying? And all that shit though. All right, I, 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 got, I, I got to, well, this ain't tough, but this, this is a, a it messes with you but, a little bit. Yeah, but one thing is this, though, boom, don't never have no whole stand in your household, man. You know what I'm saying, bro? She can come over, she can spend the night and all that shit, though. Don't hey, let no whole hey, stand hey, with hey, you. Hey, I always tell these niggas, don't move in with no bitch. I tell these niggas all the time, and oh, y'all, no, y'all, y'all hear her. This is a P. This is a pimp telling y'all don't live. Don't he don't even live with his hoes. You niggas out here moving in with your girlfriends. Y'all I keep trying to tell hey, you niggas hey, this. Hey, let me tell y'all something with that shit though, man. Never move in with a bitch, man. I'm gonna break this shit down real fast before he answer the next question. And I'm gonna tell you why and all that shit helps. See, when a bitch try to tell you and try to convince you to move in with her and shit, man. Let me tell you something. 
keep that bitch 25 feet away from you and all that shit, though. Because she poison. You know what I'm saying? And she's a selfish bitch. She only thinking about her. She, she would never move in with you and all that because she's going to have to play the girlfriend role for real, for real, and every damn thing, you know? But no, no, but, but P, uh, uh, but some niggas be moving a bitch in with them, too. Yeah, but I'm, I'm going to get to that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, 9 out of 10, when a bitch, when a woman telling you to move in with her and shit, that's because, bro, she don't want to be, she don't want to feel like she's under control by you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. See, when you, when she's in your, when she, when she, when the bitch have you in her household, she's, she's, she's kind of feel like she still got some type of control. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? She can still try to utilize things off you and shit and every damn thing and all that stuff. There, you. Some of these bitches that say that shit, they selfish bitches. They only think about them, they damn self, they personal goals in life and this and that. And they just trying to reap all benefits off you niggas, you know? And you niggas don't be really seeing that shit too damn much and shit and every damn thing. I had a conversation with a damn chick. She told me, you know, oh, I have made my man move in because, you know, he didn't mind taking a 15 minute extra job and I had my career going on and this and that. I said, I heard everything you said, you know, but everything you just told me. Now, one time you spoke about this man, career, what he was trying to do in life and how y'all were trying to prospect together. Everything was just me, 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 mm, yeah. my house, my car, you know what I'm saying? My, my career, you know what I'm saying? My living. And if you don't like it, that's the type of attitude she had. You know what I'm saying? One thing about a female, you got to be careful who you give your time to. Because one thing about female, females don't give a damn about wasting your damn time. You can put five to 10 years in that shit, solid. Yeah. And that bitch is sitting there, oh, well, I ain't know he loved me like that. I ain't know he was serious. He was, he was serious about that with me and all that stuff there. You know what I'm saying? Most of these bitches, they play a lot of games. So be careful with the time and effort that you put in with a bitch, man, and all that shit there. This is why bitches get killed. This is why bitches get on Lifetime episodes and shit and every damn thing, playing with these damn dudes and shit and every damn thing. You got some of these dudes that be looking at rings and this and that and all that shit there, and the bitch don't even take, ain't even looking at you like that that damn serious. You know what I'm saying? You was just somebody that just came along. You was just the best damn offer at the damn time. Gotcha. So be careful gotcha. with that shit. You all know, right. but go ahead. Right, yeah, cool. but yeah, never, never. Ha you always have the bitch move in with two. You a man? Be a man. You know what I'm saying? Don't have the bitch lead, you know? And the bitch that, that, that I was talking to, she was trying to leave. Bitch, you can't leave, bitch. You was a woman. You know what I'm saying? If this shit goes back to the Bible times and shit, the fuck you look like leading? Bitch, what you... No, bitch, you, you already satisfied where you at. You got a house, car, and a career, and you ain't trying to go no higher than that. And you're not going to push it no higher than that and every damn thing. But see, a man that's leading, he's going to push your ass no higher than that. You know what I'm saying? And all that shit, yo, you know Fuck with hoes like that? That's a roadblock, man. You know, man, what the fuck? I'm like, I go into boom household... And his bitch telling him what to do, trying to lead him, and she got the damn damn dick, and he got the damn pussy and shit, man. You know how goofy that shit look, man. All right, so check this. Now check this out, right? This, this is a uh, uh, a question that when I ask a lot of peas, oh, it makes them stress just thinking about it. Let's say you you sit a bitch down on a blade somewhere, right? You know, you told her. Don't take no more than 30 minutes. You you gave her instruction like, look, you ain't going to be with this trick no more than 30 minutes. Make sure you okay. check in with me at least within 35 minutes. Now, you sent the bitch on a date. 35 minutes go by. 40 minutes go by. 50. An hour go by. She ain't yeah, picking ain't up her phone. Home. She ain't picking up her phone. How nerve-wracking is that for the average P? Talk to me. That's very nerve-wracking because one thing is this. There's certain things that could have happened. The bitch got kidnapped. The bitch got, you know, into, you know, some type of danger zone where you know her, her life could be in jeopardy. The bitch got locked up. You could be facing a damn case and shit. The bitch probably got kidnapped, you know, from these other so-called peas that probably going to traffic, uh, traffic this hoe and put on a bunch of drugs and then auction her damn off, auction her ass off to some damn being nails or men nails who probably gonna do all type of crazy shit to the bitch. So it's very nerve wracking, man. You know, if you told this whole, 
you gave up, uh, you told this whole 30 minutes or 35 minutes, man, and this, you know, you call this bitch and this bitch ain't checking in, man. You know, this and that, you go to the motel, the bitch ain't in there. You know what I'm saying? You can't hear from the bitch, it's very nerve wracking, man, you know? See, so, now these damn days, as a P, you make sure you put a tracker on that bitch. <laughs> mm, tracker. No, now, 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 you brought up a good thing. What type of tracking device could a P give his hoe? Well, dang about it, you got some shit that's on the phones. You got uh, shit you can put around her waist and shit, because it's a lot of shit, a lot of trackers now that you can have that you can put around her waist or her Is phone that and all right? that shit, and you, and you can operate it from your phone, from the computer, and as long as that shit is stabilized, and like I said, they don't know it's a tracker, but as long as that shit stabilized is working and all that, you don't know where that bitch at at all times, man. And let's just say you brought the bitch a car. You brought that bitch a Porsche or this and that, put a track underneath that damn car too. So if she do take this, let's just say she did take him in the car. Okay, the car right there, you know where they at. But let's just say she did ride out in the car right there. Okay. That's one step from the car and every damn thing. But then you have another damn tracker this bitch will have on her. He won't know it. You know what I'm saying? Because it don't look like no damn tracker. But that's how you solve that issue right there, man. I mean, now, I can't promise you that your bitch still going to be alive or your shit going to get locked up and all this shit. But you don't know what's going on once you look on the map. But see, but see, Pete, that shit, and but see that's what I'm saying. That track work is so stressful. It's stressful, son. That's why a lot of peas don't like putting a bitch on the track. It's too nerve wracking. Hey, P, it could be nerve wracking if you put that bitch on a motherfucking pole, man. You may have somebody follow her ass outside of the damn fucking club and shit. No, you know, but but they, but but uh, see, uh, they, but see, but see, but hey. see. In a strip club and with escort, you control the environment. If you got the bitch at an end call, all you got to do is sit outside. And, and, and also, if the bitch don't pick up a phone in a certain amount of time, boom, you could go knocking on that door. See what's really good. You got control yeah, but, of the yeah, environment. Yeah. When you put a bitch on a track, you ain't got no control of the environment. You know what I'm saying? You still won't have no control of the environment, even if she in the club or not, bro, because, like I said, you got motherfuckers inside the club. They may slip that bitch to Mickey. You know what I'm saying? They may do some type of substance on that bitch and all that shit there, man. And, and you know, and it'll be a whole lot of damn shit, bro. Like I said, she gonna do some escort service and some motherfucking trick, you know, who probably uh, acting like a damn trick, or he probably is a damn trick, and he could be a damn serial killer, bro. Or he can... You know, be a sex trafficker or something like that, bro. And you got under escort service and all that shit, though, bro. It it, it happens, you know. And all that shit, hell, you know. True that. You may have a motherfucker. Right. You may have a motherfucker in the damn club. He may be looking like a straight businessman, which he probably is a businessman and shit. But his intentions of what he's doing, and the bitch is probably looking at the Rolls Royce and all that other damn suit and the suit and tie. But she don't know this man plans and shit as a whole. She probably gonna be like, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead. But he got other plans for that bitch. You know what I'm saying? And all that. So, yeah, but, you got to be careful with that shit. Uh, now, uh, uh, this, this was the question that came up. Somebody asked me, do I deal with scammers, thieves, or flat black bitches, bro? I told them I'd rather have a motherfucking professional hoe, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to deal with no flat backers. That scamming shit. Let me tell you something, man. That ain't nothing you really want to be doing, man. It's just a matter of time for the police to know what you're doing when you're doing that scamming shit. A thief, bitch. Look here. It's been thieving assholes, man, since ancient time when it came to this pimping, man, and all that shit. Duh. Now, my thing is this. What I have the, the thieving hole in the mix with hoes that's prostituting, no fucking way. You know what I'm saying? Because one thing is this, boom, you got to watch out, bro, is hoes always paying attention to you at all times so if they out there hoeing and she thieving but she checking it real good but they see she ain't really out there doing what they doing and she just out there just thieving and shit and all that that can be a problem you know what i'm saying and all that shit though so the thing about it with this here too you got some that that that's thieve and they gonna hold cool no problem now, I tell a bitch straight up, if nobody's around, nobody's looking, you see you can get away with it, okay, go ahead and take it, man. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, 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 whoa. You, you telling me that if your hoe is in a is in a room with a trick and she he got a Rolex or he got something that's of value 
If no one's looking, you tell that hoe to take that shit. Take it. If you if you can get away. Y'all, come go ahead on. And take it. P P. Why? 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 Go. Hey, that's your job. You know, you trying to get as much as you can get off this motherfucker. You trying to get as much as you can get off this motherfucker and shit, man. P. I want to recommend. I want to recommend it like that, man. You know what I'm saying? I rather just have this whole just hope because once she's just home, it's over. Thank with. Thank you. Too. Thank you. That's you I, that's what I'm saying. Like, why make it more difficult by stealing? You know what I mean? When you should have enough hey, game, hey, a hey, bitch should have enough. Hey, hey, wait, hold on, hey, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We'll make this point. A bitch should have enough game to the point where she could get whatever she want out of a trick just from running game on his ass. Go ahead. That's true, man. But sometimes, man, you knock a hole, man, and you don't even know that this hole a thief until this hole come back with it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know, dad, I don't, I don't, you know, got this, and I also brought you this. What, what you doing? Oh, I bet I had no. You know what I'm saying? You ain't know this business was a thief. Sometimes this whole man just come back with it, man. So it's just like. So what you would know? you tell a bitch? But, what, what would you tell a bitch that just robbed the trick? What would you tell a bitch? Oh, I had to check him, man, because one thing is this. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be watching your back like that. Bro. Exactly. You know Thank you. It's a it's a bad it's a bad situation. You know, you don't know who he is. You don't know who he's tied to. He associated with and all that shit, though, man. And if that motherfucker see you with that whole man, now he going to think that you had something because, you know what I'm saying? And now he see that it's more than just the whole. It's, you know, you the brains of the operation. You don't want to be in that position, man. And, 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 and all that and, shit. And, and another thing, when you, when your hoes out here stealing, when your hoes out here stealing, now you got to worry about the bitch when she go to work. Because what if that trick see that bitch again? He going to run down yeah. on that bitch. It, 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 it could be a problem, man. But, you know, you as a peak. You gotta be, you gotta be up, man, because you know if that whole did what she did, and you gonna sit that bitch on that same blade where you, yeah, you gotta be out there, man, and all that shit, though. You gonna have to be out there, hey, you may have to be out there with the pistol, man. Shit, uh, they have to be out there with the pistol, but nah, I wouldn't recommend, you know, a hole to be stealing all the damn time and thieving and this and that, man. If you straight off that horn, bro, it's over, it's most safer, it's through. It's over. You know what? We ain't got to worry about no scamming bitch, no flat back of bitch, no thieving bitch and all that. And you guess what? And guess what? When you dealing with a thieving bitch, she messes up the money. Let me tell you how she, she, messes, up, she messes up the money. And this not coming from experience. This is some stuff that I observe. So, boom. She messes up the money because now that that bitch a thief, once she steal or rob that trick, that trick is going to either A, not mess with it no more so that means she can't develop a a, a a regular base clientele you know what i'm saying and then number two the 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 the, the trick gonna want revenge so that's what i'm saying she messing up the money thieving assholes mess up the money when it comes to long-term progression man sometimes you know that is true but you know he ain't the only goddamn me and them being now you know what i'm saying yeah wish you fuck up on opportunity yeah Absolutely, you know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? Now, if he's the type of motherfucker that can blackball his service, yeah, the whole may be in trouble, but still, there will always be a trick out there for, you know, um uh, with with that uh situation and everything too. But yeah, you know, but Pete, it's Pete, not Pete. A, but see, this goes back to what I said earlier. See, this is why if I was in the game, I will only mess with Bitches who new to the game, fresh in the game. So therefore, you can I could train it exactly the way I want. Because what if you get a bitch, a veteran bitch, who's used to getting over on tricks and robbing tricks? You got I gotta deprogram a thieving ass bitch. I I, I gotta teach a thieving ass bitch not to be a thief. Well, you can't do that. Once a thief, always gonna be a thief. Exactly. <laughs> and, and that's what I'm saying. The majority, majority of this of these veteran hoes. They are trained by their peace, especially if they play the track. They trained by their pimps. Still, whatever, get whatever you can get. Get my money. Oh, no, absolutely, absolutely. That, that, you know, you got some out there, you know, they are thin and pimping. They say the whole one's first. But if you can get away with a bitch, yeah, you got a lot of even ass hoes out there. Yeah, the, the whole see you slipping, she may take it all, man. You know, shit. And everything will take as much as she can. You know, so yeah, it's like I say, bro, it's been stealing holes since ancient time, bro. They just never talked about it. 
you know? And all that shit, duh. You got some peas that'll slide that bitch that drug, you know what I'm saying? And you know, hell, man, had the bitch out there hoeing in selling their damn motherfucking drugs. You all know right, now, I, 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 I'm one. That's macking. That's macking, though, right though. I, 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 I want to get your perspective on one thing. And we've we seen this a lot. You see this a lot in strip clubs. And Cardi B even admitted to doing stuff like this. They would take tricks home to the hotel and either slip a Mickey and they drink, rob their ass, or get them set up by some goons and rob their ass. What you think about hoes like that? <laughs> Stay away from them. <laughs> run, Forrest, run. Yeah, but Cardi B, man, she, and, she, and she was a blood, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Game banger. Yeah, so that's what game banging assholes do, man. You know what I'm saying? And see, one thing, like I tell people with the game banging shit, bro, as a form of blood, my damn self. And ain't the niggas you gotta watch out for. It's the hoes who you gotta watch out for. Because they are 15 times ruthless than the damn niggas, man. How they and ruthless? You know How the hoes ruthless? Because they got ass titties and a pussy. <laughs> you know? And all that shit, though. See, the thing about it, what people fail to realize, they think every game banging chick is ugly as hell. Let me tell y'all something, man. You got some pretty, sexy ass, fucking game banging ass chick, no tattoos, no goals in their mouth, clean like a motherfucker, but ruthless like a bitch. I know. And it ain't coming off with no aggression. They they gonna come off aggression with the game banging niggas, but with you, that voice is gonna be sweet, soft, and this and that. Let me tell y'all something, man. I was talking to a badass little brown skinned little chick in California from Inglewood. Badder than a motherfucker. Didn't look like no game banger, nothing like this right here. Man, when I tell you, Pete, this girl was game banger so damn hard, man. Straight Inglewood blood, dog. But when you look at the bitch, the bitch don't even look like she shot a damn pistol, man. You know how scary that is? Yeah. She used she can. she it sounds like she used her submissiveness as a weapon. Well, it's not that she used it. Sometimes these dudes just go into that trap. See, sometimes when a bitch see that and they know they got that type of power because of what these dudes do, then yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why not utilize it and every damn thing and stuff like that? You too blinded by looks and this and that, you don't even know. That this bitch ready to set your ass up, man. You know, on on a nice little damn fucking uh he got a ticket to ride train ass. You know, it's going down with you. Yeah. You know, you can look like look at this bitch here. Damn, man, you know, the bitch this and that and ooh, the bitch look good. You don't even know if the damn homies probably don't rent a section on this bitch last night. You hmm. know what I'm saying, bro? Got and, you. And, yeah, you know, so I, I, I got yeah. a, I got another question for you, P. I seen a lot of a lot of quilt females, a lot of blood ass, bro. I'm talking about boy, it's scary. Boy, a female is more dangerous, bro. And they are more dangerous because they females and they feel like they gotta prove themselves more in every damn thing. You don't want to come across those. All right, I got I got another question for you. So check this out. Now, this is something that a lot of a lot of peas don't admit to. How often, if ever, did you have to slap the shit out of a bitch because she was out of pocket? Hey, sometimes, man. As a as a as a, uh, as a P, hey, hoes get out of line sometimes, man. You gonna have to sometimes do certain things to check that shit, man. So yeah, you know, sometimes you know you gonna have to you know shake the bitch up a little bit, you know, and every damn thing, you know. Now, will a romantic pimp do that? Who knows? You know, a romantic pimp is more flirtatious and shit. He don't believe in putting his hands on a female. He may, you know, put the bitch on pimp arrest and probably cup the bitch up to a damn uh, table or some shit or, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Or cup that bitch in the chair and put that bitch on time out and all that stuff there, man. But, you know, as far as with that, man, you know, other peas, man, yeah, you know, you may, you know, shake that bitch up a little bit if she get too damn reckless out the damn eye, man, and all that shit. But one I, thing you don't want to do is try a gorilla pimp. You know what I'm saying? Because a gorilla pimp will go beyond the slapping. You know, it, they, they ruthless, man. You so, know, and so, that's the worst pimp. Them the worst pimps you want to fuck with. When, right. You know, when it comes to having a, a whole fucking with a gorilla pimp, man. Got you. Now, how, how often... 
if ever did you have that you had to slap a bitch? I had to slap him sometimes a couple of times, you know what I'm saying? But like I say, man, hoes get out of line, man, sometimes, bro. Sometimes you're going to have to put a hole in her place and put it in check, man, you know? But see, the thing about it, only time you really slap a, a bitch, man, is when this hoes really just trying you as a man in your pimping. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And all that. Nine out of ten, you know, you can break a bitch spirit down just by your damn voice. You know, and all that shit, though, just by... By your your mouthpiece, you know, you can break that whole down, make that whole feel like you know, bitch, you you the bottom of the damn earth, and all that shit, duh, you know, and every damn thing. But uh, and certain actions you do, you know what I'm saying, and all that stuff, duh, you know, once that whole get out of line, she doing all that shit, yeah, you gotta go ahead and put this bitch in her place, man. Oh, you gotta show this bitch, bitch, I don't need you, you need me, bitch. The pimping first, bitch, you second, and all that shit, duh. So you know, you get out of line and shit, hey, man. I mean, you know what I'm saying? A uh, pimp may just kick your ass out. You know, do what you do and all that. Bitch, go out right there in the motherfucking wilderness, bitch. You know, do what you do. I ain't sweating off that shit mm-hmm. and every damn thing. Well, bitch, I know you're going to call me back. Shit. You know what I'm saying? It ain't that damn pretty out there. Under, uh, uh, un, under what situations do you take a hoe back who you had to fire? Because I know some peas, they'll get rid of a bitch in hopes that the bitch come back with the right mindset so how often do you get rid of a how often do you fire a bitch with intent for her to come back well the thing about it with that though player man if you fire but you fire a bitch man from your, your stable you know she had to do multiple violations man and the last time she did that violation bro the bitch was just beyond out of pocket you know what i'm saying and every damn thing now it's a lot of ways to handle that. You can kick the bitch out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if the bitch do call back, you just can't come back in that easy. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a choosing fee. You know what I'm saying? And bitch, you on punishment. You know what I'm saying? Until you can prove yourself even more and all that shit. But you ain't going to come back that damn easy. But we will, we'll take you back. We'll take you back with that choosing fee and every damn thing and all that shit. But now you got to prove yourself again. Just like when we knocked your ass the first damn time, you got to prove yourself all over again. Or, you know, uh, you know that whole get the little two damn records head. You just pass it to another damn P. You know what I'm saying? It ain't that you give them whole problems. You know, you just sometimes certain pimp, uh, pimps. You know what we do when we feel like a bitch ain't part of the program. Okay, you know, say for instance, uh, I got a hoe. You know what I'm saying? She may just be a little too damn. Reckless out of pocket for me, man. Okay, okay. Bitch, yeah, you know, that don't mean that you ain't the pimp. I mean, that bitch just ain't really just down with your program. So I'd be like, well, okay. Well, this white bitch, you know, this white bitch out of pocket, man, this and that. But I seen Boom. You know, Boom always stay having a nice little snow white, always bright and white. You know what I'm saying? And everything, I may pass the bitch to you. You know, and I, hey, I'll call you. Hey, man, P, man, I got this whole hill, man. You know, uh, you know, the bitch ain't down my program, man, you know? You know, I'm, you know, see if you want to, you know, do anything with that, though, you know? And, you know, I give you the blueprint of this bitch and tell you all about it and stuff like that. And, you know, you take the hoe and I'm going to roll on. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, just, just like that, man. Or, uh, you know, you could just, what you call it, pass that, you know, that whole, you know, to, a, uh, you know, a beginner piece. You know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? And see what he, what he can do with that, man, and all that shit, though. You know, because, you know, if the whole take a liking to that beginner pee and all that, she may tone all that shit down, you know, but it still could be a problem for him, too, you know. So I, I would really recommend that as well, you know. But those are the two options that I would do with that, all you right, know, I, when it I, comes I got, to uh, I, I, a, disobedient, a disobedient hoe. I got another question for you. Check this out. Now, just, let's just say you just knocked a bitch. You got a bitch that she's, she, she's really rocking with you. However, she's a square. All right, she's a square. How do you introduce hoeing to a square bitch? Well, when you feel like the time is right, you introduce it to her. You but, know, but but yeah. but but let's say we in that same scenario where you ain't got no bitch. You got thirty days to knock a bitch. Remember, now you just met a square bitch. She cool as hell. She gave you her number. You know what I mean? She a cool bitch. How do you introduce the hoeing to her so you could get back to that money? Well, the thing about it is this, uh, you know, 
The same way how you call all the rest of your hoes. Do what you do. You know, you, you spend some time with her. Chop up some conversation. See where this bitch head at. You know what I'm saying? You know, you may, you know, probably go to the beach a little bit. You know what I'm saying? This and that. You make her feel like she's special. You lose her. You know, this and that. You know, then you do your all the work on her. You know what I'm do, saying? Do, Shit. Do, do, do you fuck up? You as a pimp, do you give a square bitch free dick? If she's a square, do you fuck her? Well, the thing about it with a square bitch, you got to give her some pimp dick and all that shit though, because she's a square bitch, you know? So, you know, you know, you not, you know, giving this whole no pimp dick, man, and all that shit here, man. And, you know what I'm saying? It's not really considered a turnout. So her being not done, and she going to be scared a little bit. You know, dealing with a lot of shit like that if you were to get this bitch on the blade and all that. But if this whole custom to your pimp dick and all that shit, as you know, one of the procedures as one of the procedures and shit like that, you'll be fine. Like sometimes, man, it's a lot of peas that I get the damn bitch pussy first before they get the purse. And we ain't really tripping off that shit, man. As long as you get in this hole to hoe for you and represent you. All right, now 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 watch this. Let's say you just knocked a hoe. She a square bitch. You rocking with her, she rocking with you, you done smash, but remember, you a you a pimp and you need some hold. You need you gotta get that whole dough. What will you do if the bitch got a job, yo? Cause you know if you a P and the bitch got a job, that job gonna get in the way of your pimping. So how do you pimp around that fucking job or through that job that the bitch got? Break it down. Oh, that bitch gotta quit that damn job. <laughs> ain't no ain't no other way out of it. You know what I'm saying? So, fuck all that bullshit. Fuck that. Oh, I need to collect my last check. Shit, no, bitch. You ain't got time to collect no damn last check and shit. You know, and all that shit. That now the bitch, you know, if it's, if that day is payday, and all that shit, though, and every damn thing. Oh, bitch, you you, you finna call out today, but go collect the damn check and let you finna get home and rolling. You know, and all that shit. There, but that's tell her put your final notice, bitch. That's your last day. But that ain't gonna work. <laughs> you know. Okay. That that job shit gonna get in the pimping way, man. You know, for you getting your damn dope. You know, okay. that ain't happening. Okay. That can't work out. Yeah. I I I got another question. So let's say, boom, look, you campaigning. You got thirty days to knock a bitch. This a cool bitch. You know she's promotable. You know she's marketable. You could just envision working that bitch and she and the tricks just lining up. Tricks is lining up, right? But she live with her parents, yo. How do you pimp around a situation like that? You got to get this bitch like 20, 21 years old, but she live with her parents and, and like one of her parents is very overprotective, but the bitch got to go hard and get your money, man. How you pimp around that? Well, first of all, man, you move the bitch out of that house. You tell the bitch, you know, uh, tell your parents that you found the apartment and all that shit that without letting them know about the pimping. You know what I'm saying? And everything, you know, uh, this and that. Let me tell you something, man. A, a pimp can't get caught up with no bullshit if a bitch don't tell. You know what I'm saying? A pimp can't go to jail if a bitch don't tell. That's real so, shit right there. That's and real so shit. Along, and so along this bitch, keep her mouth shut. You know, she in that apartment and they don't know shit. And you about to get ready to turn this hole into a superstar? <sighs> You know what I'm saying? Time out. I, 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 got, I got to get you with one here, P. Check this out. All this apartment shit, how you getting on all this shit? She ain't give you no whole money yet. Well, feel like this hell, man. Where the whole staying at? Now, you remember, you just said the bitch got to earn her way to stay with you. So how are you going to get? Th so, like, what, what, yeah, what what's going to yeah, be the situation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quote, she ain't staying with me, but she going to be staying in another apartment. Not with me. You know what I'm saying? So you got I, 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 P, P, check this out. The average P ain't, 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 ain't that, uh, uh, ain't, ain't that so much what, in a so, good situation where he got right, right, more than right. one apartment. Come on, man. Like, like, right, right. I, so I don't know, I don't average, know too many P's that got a little no, 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 empty, no, no. nice apartment laying around this no, motherfucker, man. No, no, because they, cause, you know, like I said, they got to get business minded with it first, man. You got to hide the damn whole money, man. But, uh, let's just say, what to do if you were average Pete and you ain't really got it like that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. 
Hey, you got or, or, yeah. or, 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 or a P that living with his mama or, or, or living with somebody. He ain't got like that, but he trying to pimp his way out of it too. Pimps go through struggles too. So like this, so 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 what would happen in that situation? You got a bitch, you know what I mean? You ain't got an extra apartment, but the bitch, she ready to get your money, but she got a job and she live with her parents. How how, how, how you pimping around that situation? See, see, hey. see, a, a, everybody hey, listen, everybody these listen. are questions situations scenarios that really happen with the pimping some things y'all don't see because all y'all see is the pimps on tv y'all don't see the behind the scenes of the struggles with a pimp but go ahead p oh yeah it most definitely man it, it's, it's, it's hard work man it's very hard goddamn work that pimping ain't easy man you know what i'm saying See, and, 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 and cp that's why i asked you that question because a lot of peas they think pimping is easy so I'm giving you scenarios of what pimps go through to see how you would handle that. Cause now, cause now when I ask you that question, everybody else listening, they go like, mm, "What would I do in that situation? That could happen with me." All like you gotta think about all these scenarios. Right, right, right. You know, hey, I'm gonna say it like that. We okay? I don't know about a P staying with his mama house, but uh, you want to go from there. If he staying with his mama house, or he just you know got an apartment, just a small town, little five hundred dollar, five hundred rent apartment and shit. You want to go from him just having a five hundred dollar uh, on rent apartment, or a P that staying with his mama. Either or, either or, yo. Hey, the best way I can tell you out of that shit, man. First. Focus on you. You know, uh, try to get your credit going. You know what I'm saying, and all that shit to get out of that predicament. You know, as long as you got good credit, your pimp gonna be sharp. You know what I'm saying. You can get into an apartment with good, excellent credit without putting really nothing too much down and shit. But uh, let's pull all that right down, man. Hey, they just gonna have to move secretly, bro. And to she, you know, she give him a little two thousand or a three thousand. If he got a good six thirty credit score, six eighty credit score, get to an apartment, man, and move the bitch P, in from there. Pete, Pete, and then grow. Pete, how the bitch gonna move secretly with the pimping if she live with her mama? It's twelve o'clock right now. We we talking. It's twelve o'clock in, in in the morning right now. The the P okay. the P need the bitch to be in a club right now, getting it. Cause he knows it's gonna be mad tricks then. How she gonna do that consistently if she living with her mama? Sometimes, man, it's, it's easy just to put a damn collar on the dog, man, and just tell that dog, come on, let's go to walk, man. But sometimes as a pimping, you gotta do fucking amazing, extraordinary things, man, to the to, to to the move that shit like that, you know? So uh to be honest with you, man, you gonna have to, you gonna have to, you you gonna have to be smart about a lot of shit, you know. Uh, I don't know. Probably tell the bitch, you know, hey, you know, mom, I got a job at the club, at the nightclub, you know, as a waitress or some shit, you know, and every damn thing. You gonna have to come up with something as a p man. You is you gonna have to say some, you got to work a game plan, you know. Now, that's what I would have said. I would have like, look, tell them, tell your parents that you got a job at the nightclub as a waitress or, you know, you're a janitor or what the case may be, or you're a bartender serving drinks and shit. Now, I can't really say that too much because you do have motherfuckers that, exactly. that, shit, that may know that. Exactly. That may know that hoe. That may know that hoe as well, you know what I'm saying? And say, nah, I seen your daughter, that's why. <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah, man, you know... Uh, as a P man, you got to come up with something, man. You got to come up with something, man. You know what I'm saying, man. You know, right. we're at so, so, so right th now, but what the best thing I say for him is, is if it's like that, when the parents ain't around at the home, make that whole work that computer shit. You know what I'm saying? Let them do the computer shit and all that, or have them come. You know, uh, you know, do that. What they got that little OnlyFans shit and all that and other shit. Make that whole work the money from inside the house in her room. Send it to you. In the meantime, you work, you work and getting your credit up and all that shit though. And once you get to six to six thirty, six eighty, you know what I'm saying? With this whole getting you this money and all of that, hell, thousand dollars, two thousand dollars down, bro, with good credit, get you in that damn apartment and you roll from there. So 
You know what I'm saying? All right. I'm, 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 I'm about to break something down. See, if I was a P, right, this what I would do. Okay. If she got, if she lived with her parents, first of all, I got to remove that factor out of this situation because what, what would happen is that if she stayed with her parents, then guess what? I look at her parents and her household as what I call a safety net. When a hoe got a safety net, she don't got no respect for your pimping. Your pimping ain't as strong as it would be if you was her safety net. I saw the females who who whose who safety net depended on the pimping, they went hard for the pimping. But when the pimping didn't have this, was it the safety net? And a mama house with a safety net, they'll do some bullshit and they go back home with their mama. Yeah, but they're like you said what to do in that situation when he ain't got no stable place and he's staying with his mama and she's staying with the mama, you know what I'm saying, with the parents and everything, you know? Okay, you know, and, and, only, and, and, and now, now and, here's, and, 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 here's another and, option. Here's another option. And, and you see this a lot, Pete. A lot of P's do this. Talk, talk so basically, them. the other option is to stack a few hundred or a few thousand, and what they do, they live out of motels for a few months. That happens yeah. a lot. Yeah, you you yeah you can do that, but you know, like I was saying, the best situation is to doing that without them knowing about the motel or the clubs or the she actually hoing, and you got enough money to stack up to you know disappear the bitch somewhere and make the bitch seem like she's doing this and that, but she really out there hoing and shit. And then wait till her parents leave up out that household, this and that, and have that bitch work that internet, man. And long as she checking good on the internet, as you you start stacking up your business credit, or you start stacking up your credit and your money and shit, and then once you get your apartment, then you can say, okay, I moved in. I got a, I got uh my boyfriend want me to move in and blase blase and this and that and all that. And then you move for nothing. As your money start growing, you know you start getting your own damn shit. And then you know blase blase. You know what I'm saying? All right. This I, and this table here, and then you grow like that. You know. I got another question for you now. You now you mentioned moving, like getting an apartment, right? Like the bit, the bitch giving you that whole money. Now it's time to get mm -hmm. an apartment. Now, mm -hmm. what advice would you give the peas when it comes to them getting an apartment, but the apartment is requiring them to show them check stubs and proof of income? What 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 what's your recommendation when it comes to that? Well, I'm gonna tell you like this, here, man. That's why I tell a lot of peas. Start your business, man. Start your business. Or, you know what I'm saying? If you can't start a damn business, you may have to get you a square job, you know, until you pimp up, you know? Or if you got a mentor, you know what I'm saying? Go stay with your mentor, you know what I'm saying, for some time and all that shit until you start a damn business and then prospect like that and all that shit, though. So, but if you had to show statements and everything, uh... This is what you can do. If the bitch work in the internet, get that bitch a LLC, you know what I'm saying, or escort, and, uh, you know, do it like that, you know, and have the bitch show, show the statements and all that shit done, every damn thing. You know, it don't matter. It's going in both y'all names any fucking way. So, shit. Nah, nah, no, nope, nope. I would not recommend it. I would not recommend a pimp putting his name on the lease with the hoe. Let me tell you why. Because if that bitch blow, and she and, and or, or or she she want to quit the game, whatever, that shit needs to be on her credit that she that that she didn't finish the out the lease. Do not, I would not recommend putting your name on the lease of a hoe's apartment. I wouldn't recommend it. So, you rather just uh, have your name on there? No, no, I rather just have her name on the lease. Her name on there? Yeah. So, you know, so, you so, can, so, you can do that. So, so what happens you, that you now? That. Now you tell a bitch like, look, bitch, your name is on this lease. This is your apartment. Meaning that if five months from now, four months from now, you decide to quit this motherfucking game and you don't want to do this no more, bitch, you gonna still owe the remaining months of rent. As required yeah, on your lease. So back, when you back. fuck up, bitch, there's no you fucking up your shit. You ain't fucking up my shit, ho. Yeah, right, right. That's facts. You know, she'll agree to it. You know what I'm saying? She really down for you. You can do it like that way. You got a mentor. You got a, a OG pimp, a mentor. Stay with your, 
stay with your mentor for a minute, you know, and then, you know, get your business going, you know, get your business going and move it like that, you know, and yeah, you'll be fine. So those are, you know, that's a good uh, option. And, you know, staying with your mentor, if you do got a mentor, that's another option. All right, man. Well, it's good chopping up with you, man. I got to get off yeah. and do these other sermons, man. No, nah, go ahead and do the sermon, though. But one thing with y'all, man, if y'all going to be in this pimping, though, never mix the pimping into personal life, into personal square life for anybody and shit. Keep that shit separated. When you pimping, keep the pimping in the gang with the pimping and shit. Because they not going to understand this shit and all that. And all they know about is you just trying to send a bitch out there. No, this game deeper than that. So you got to separate yourself from all that bullshit, you know? Don't try to move in with your mama and daddy talking about something. You doing some paper with your uncle and all that. You doing some damn fuck all that. No, nigga, they not in that game. Keep that shit distance from them. Yeah, they can know you the pimping, but they don't need to see every damn thing what you're doing inside, you know? That's dangerous. Don't do that. You'll fall off fast. People hate. Y'all stay blessed, though, man. No doubt. Good looking, man. And that was today's episode of Like a Comment. Subscribe! <laughs> and I'll be catching you on the next day, man, my nigga. Hello.